Hey guys, we have a late start today. We were up very late last night, probably till three in the morning. But we were having such a good time with our friends at our little dinner party. We stayed up late, we had a little bonfire. We talked, we drank wine, we ate delicious food. I really would like to do that again. It was super fun and it worked out perfectly right in that little uh, canopy by our little house. It was really great. And uh, we really wanted to sleep in this morning. We stayed up late doing all the dishes and like cleaning everything because we didn't want to have to wake up and do it all. So we did it all last night. And then this morning, Kevin got up and finished this fence with a layer of barbed wire. You can see it right here. Do not worry, we've tested it. The goats cannot reach this at all. They will not get cut on it, but it will slow down coyotes if they try to climb in here. Uh, so you can see on this fence, I forget what the type of fence this is called but at the bottom there are smaller holes smaller openings to keep smaller animals out and they get bigger as you go up so larger predators will be stopped hopefully it is a very very hot summer day today my back is sticking to the leather couch and uh it's very very warm i'm trying to get rid of these uh horrible tan lines but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it out there. I was trying to read out in the hammock. It was really nice for about 20 minutes and I was like, oh my God, I need to be in the shade. So now here I am. Great thing about buying flowers for a dinner party is you get to use them afterward in your house. Now our plant has some company. I just love, we got these at Trader Joe's and they're just so gorgeous. We had our own sunflowers out front but I really didn't want to take them down. Kevin made such a good point. I was like, should we just pick those and put them in a vase? And he was like, I think they'll look a lot better naturally growing. The mountains behind them, they'll look better than in a vase on the table. Tobacco, I can lift your own apple. What did you say? I can lift your own apple. Ah. Pretend I something I danced up here, then you can see. Then you saw me. I got Kevin this pop up. National Parks book for his birthday, and Emmett loves it. Yeah, you yeah, know, read that. Read it. I got you a leg in the inside. That is pretty easy to get to because it's only about a two hour drive away. And you want to see the inside? I've been on the inside. Been, you've been here before? Yeah, in real life. Cool. Do you think you would like it? Did you saw a rainbow there? Um, yeah, we saw it on yeah. the waterfall. Remember? Yeah. Yes, there's a water. I bet the rainbows always fell. Do you guys want to know the best time to go for a run? It's definitely the day after you've had too much wine to drink. This is going to be really good. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to go for a run. i got to keep training if I'm going to be able to run a 10K. So, I guess let's do this. And now we get to enjoy some leftovers from our dinner party. Pretty happy about that. This is, I think, my favorite version that I've made of the eggplant pasta. Kevin suggested that we put in olives this time. Really made the whole dish. Oh my gosh, I just passed out on the couch. Kevin just woke me up and I came up here. You were like a dog who's running to sleep. You kept doing weird stuff. Really? Yeah. Like what? Like kind of like running with your paws. Like, mm. <laughs> like what the Chill. hell? Didn't know I did that. Chill out. I used to sleepwalk. One time, my grandma was sleeping over and I sleptwalked out of my bed and I went into the bathroom and I got a bottle of shampoo and I asked her if I could drink it. And she was like, no, go to bed. Uh, all right, we're gonna go to sleep. I hope you guys have an awesome morning, afternoon, night, wherever you are in the whole world. And we will see you tomorrow.